So I actually did a video like this last year in 2021 where I was discussing my top five favorite Roja Parfum fragrances for this summertime. It's a new year. Let's see if it's going to be a different type of a list. And yes, there are a few changes in this list. So I'm very excited to be sharing with you my top five favorite Raja Parfum fragrances for 2022. So make sure to stay tuned. Before I begin this list of my top five favorite Raja Parfum fragrances for the summertime for the year 2022, and I tell you all about these fragrances, why I enjoy them so much, the notes that I get from them, and also the performance, I do want to start things off by mentioning that if you're a fan of fragrance-related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Make sure to enable all notifications by clicking on that bell icon up above, and also make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you take something of value from today episode. Now, Raja Parfum is a brand that has always been synonymous with quality. Whether we're talking about Danger or Diaghilev or A Midsummer Dream, there is something for everyone when we're talking about the house of Raja Parfum, and I truly love the brand to bits. These are some of my favorite fragrances ever. The fragrance in my number one spot, my number two spot even, you've heard me mention on several lists before. And the reason being is just, I love them so much. So let's go ahead and dive into the list. No holds barred. I'm excited to be sharing this list with you. And the first one I wanna talk about is none other than Scandal. Now, Scandal is an amazing, bright, citrusy fragrance, a very natural smelling citrus at that. This one is a fragrance that I've been wearing to work nonstop as of late. And when I do wear this one, I do maybe like, you know, 10 sprays. And I actually reapply at lunchtime because I like that brightness of the citrus. It's a little mossy in the base as well. This one can be compared to Eau Sauvage by Dior, which is a classic, but this one is done with much better quality. And of course it has a personality of its own. So that, you know, just a means of comparison for somebody who's never smelled this. If you happen to have smelled the other fragrance, I think it puts you in the mindset of what you can sort of expect more or less from this fragrance. Beautifully done, so bright and fizzy and effervescent for the summertime. And of course this one could be a lot higher up on the list, but it's been around since 2017 and I talk about it year after year after year. It's none other than Elysium. Now I have the stronger concentration of that as well right here, but I personally love this fragrance, the bergamot, the florals, the woods, the vetiver that also comes across smelling very, very clean. Very bright and effervescent opening, incredibly well done. Such masterpieces from this Parfum Cologne collection. I love Danger just as much and Vetiver is so classy and so elegant. The next fragrance that I wanna talk about is one that I've praised over the past few months. I've actually owned this one for a couple years now. This one is called Oligarch. Now, Oligarch is also on the Vetiver side of things very bright, very citrus heavy. And this one is on the cleaner vetiver side of things. Whereas if you're looking at something like vetiver from the Parfum Cologne line, that one can be a little bit rooty and a little bit earthy, especially if you've tried something like Grey Vetiver by Tom Ford or Guerlain's Vetiver. That's more or less the quality that you can expect from Roja Parfum, or I should say Roja Parfum's quality is actually a little bit better. And then here with Oligarch, this is on the cleaner side of things with more of an emphasis on the citrus. Very, very well done. The next fragrance I wanna talk about is this bright and sparkling grapefruit fragrance. And it has a little bit of like this suede leather dried down from what I can remember. And this one is called Burlington 1819. Now, what really impressed me about this fragrance is the longevity that I get from it. Um, this one is actually a very long lasting citrus fragrance. I would say in the wheelhouse of like eight hours, Scandal is gonna get you about seven hours, Elysium also about six to seven seven hours. Oligarch is a solid eight to nine hours on my skin. I actually have pretty good luck with it. So the performance of these fragrances, given the fact that they're a little bit on the more summery fresh side of things, the performance is actually still very, very good. And the fragrance that I would like to include in my number one spot, oh boy, this is one of my favorites and it's been around since 2019. So we're talking about 
three years now and this fragrance has moss it has iris it has jasmine it has violet it has a bunch of citrus in the opening it just has this very sort of clean and magnetic personality that is irresistible and it's very hard to turn away it's a very magnetic fragrance and it's one that i put it on and i smell absolutely amazing I feel like I'm on a yacht or I feel like I'm part of some exclusive club or I'm just like the, you know, <laughs> the center of attention, right? Like the most elegant person in the room is the kind of vibe that this fragrance conjures up. And it's none other than Oceania. From the beautiful bottle to the beautiful design on the metal plaque label here and the blue crystals, beautiful, beautiful fragrance, just absolutely amazing. and. All of these fragrances are ones that I truly, truly love. Roja Parfum makes some hits, not just for the summertime, but for other seasons as well. You know, in the autumn, I love to wear my Diaghilev and my Vetiver and my Harrods, although Harrods actually works really well all season, all four seasons, to be honest. But um, such an incredible brand. If you haven't had the opportunity to do so, I'm gonna leave some links down below to where you may potentially sample some of these. I know because this is a brand that's a little bit harder to find, um, you might not find the opportunity to sample every single one of these fragrances because they're just not carried everywhere. But if you do have the opportunity to walk into a major department store, spray some on your skin or a test strip or whatever you feel comfortable doing, I would highly urge you to do so. I have the pleasure of being just a few minutes away from Manhattan and so I can easily go to Saks Fifth Avenue or something like that and sample them in person. Not everybody has the uh, privilege of doing that, but if you do have the opportunity to sample these fragrances, please do. I think you're going to find one. You're bound to find one that you love. And I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Once again, hit that bell icon so you can be notified whenever I do put out future videos on this channel and I upload daily. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video or simply if you took something of value from today's episode. Thanks again for watching. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.